Hey guys, this is Greg Tastic here. I just wanted to make a short video because someone was asking me, uh, motherboard title is going to be, I mean, the motherboard name is going to be in the title of the video. I just want to make this really short and quick. Someone was asking me how did I update my BIOS from 1.5, which is what it shipped with, and I'm sure they were saying that there's no flash setting on, uh, the BIOS, I'm sure there is somewhere, but I don't have that BIOS anymore, and I'm not going to go through all the documentation looking for it when I actually used Windows to, to flash the BIOS anyway. And I realize that when people don't like doing that, but it worked for me. I didn't have any problems with it. And I have had a previous ASRock, uh, a Z170 board brick, when I was doing the regular... Uh, BIOS update in the BIOS when I was flashing it so I really I mean I would prefer just not to mess with the BIOS at all but uh, the best I could hope for is to just choose the method I find easiest which is not having to even put it on a flash drive or go into the BIOS and just follow the instructions so uh, I open this page up now because as you can see now all it has is the 2.2 version they used to have a bunch of different versions and different methods for uh, updating it. So what I did is I uploaded the 1.64 Windows version which is what I used. So once you download that all you need to do is extract it and then you open up the folder and you double click update BIOS it's gonna open up a command prompt window a command window and just update the BIOS. I'm not gonna do it because I already updated it so it doesn't make sense for me to do that there is a Windows 32 and 64 it's gonna automatically choose the 64 uh, bit version obviously and just sit and wait I can't show you what <laughs> all the things it's gonna go through but just sit and wait and let it do what it's supposed to do it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a few minutes but everything should be okay as far as me doing it I had no problem. Then once I was on 1.64 it was actually a long time before I updated the BIOS and I downloaded this one and put it on the flash drive and it actually wasn't recognizing my flash drive in the BIOS so there's at least on version 1.64 there's an option to have it just download it over the network and install it itself and I did that and it worked fine. I realize that some people are like really ardent about uh, you have to download it and do it the right way and X, Y, and Z. But me and my experience, as long as you follow instructions and do the right thing, you should be okay. And actually, the only time I've ever bricked a motherboard, I feel like I was following the instructions and flashing it in the BIOS using the flash tool and it just like restarted the computer and never loaded everything, anything ever again. But uh, hopefully that video was helpful and you can get your BIOS updated. Again, I'm sure there's a way to do it with a flash drive on the 1.5 BIOS, but I don't have the BIOS anymore to go through and look. So I did the next best thing. Someone asked me for help, tried to help them. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.